have been a business owner for over the past decade, since 2012 and counting. Um, how do you know if being self-employed is right for you? How do you know if being a business owner is right for you? Because mind you, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Um, I knew it was right for me based on the numbers. When, when I did the numbers, um, I said, wait, 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 wait. I could make the same amount of money. I think at that time I was working for Sparklets, making around 44000 a year. I said, wait, I could make the same amount of money working for a corporate business part-time that's it right there I could make the same amount of money working for myself part-time than working for a corporate business full-time see at that time that was the only thing that I thought about and I was like I'm in <laughs> I'm in I knew nothing I, I didn't know anything about how to start a business I, I thought it was just, uh, it's kind of funny because my first business was called Pool and Poop. That was my first business. The very first name of the business, Pool and Poop. I was going to clean some pools and pick up dog poop. And they laughed. Oh, how the mockers scoffed at the poop portion of it. Years later, the poop portion became a very profitable business. And keep this in mind, it took very little overhead. So that's how I knew I wanted to be self-employed. Um, mind you, at that time, I went from I went from working from corporate to working for uh, I like to call him my brother, but we're, we're really close friends. Um, making making the same amount, making the same amount, making the same amount that that they would pay me. Except I didn't realize that he wasn't taking out, out taxes. I had to do that myself. So that's the first thing. I, you always do the math on that. Uh, to leaving him to working for another guy that knew nothing about the business that we're in today. He's still in business. I'm still in business. That's going to be another story of how I got into business. I got into business. And he was a, he was a total a-hole. And I left him and I died head first into becoming self-employed.